Hi, I'm Poppy Tooker, host of Louisiana Eats. Today, we are down in the Market District at Maypop, and we're gonna learn how to make dim sum from Michael Galava. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> My name is Michael Guevara. My restaurants are Maypop and Mofo. Mofo being the, the older one and then Maypop being the, the new baby of the family. Michael, I'm so thrilled to have this opportunity to come and make dim sum with you here at Maypop. This is one of the things I know that really turned my head about your new restaurant because I am a dim sum lover and that's something we really don't see a lot of here well, in New Orleans anyway. No one except for on the West Bank or right. you know no one really does dim sum so we said well how can we bring dim sum to downtown and that kind of became the, the catchphrase you know downtown dim sum. Downtown dim sum. Well let's do it. Right. Show me what you do because this is really a mystery. I think in my way of thinking a soup dumpling is one of the trickiest technical things that they do. Oh yeah, it turns out it's a real pain in the butt. Yeah, yeah, aren't you glad you got that started? Well, show us how you do it. All right, so here we go. We got our hogshead cheese, we got some a little bit of pork sausage. So in the pork sausage, a little bit of cilantro, a little bit of crab paste, some satay chili paste for some heat. So the secret part with the soup dumplings is you can't just put whatever your liquid is right on top because then it won't, it'll, it'll leak out too fast. So you actually mix whatever your, your liquid is into it. So traditionally they would use the gelled pork stock and so you dice it up and then you fold it into the meat so it slowly leaches out of the sausage as the outside steams. And that means that it won't burst and, and leak liquid everywhere. So you have to mix it in. That's good. All right, so we're just gonna mix this up. Oh, it's beautiful. It's everything you want, right? Yeah. All right, some big beautiful lumps of uh, Louisiana blue crab into there as well, because why not? Why not? Because we have so many and they're so delicious. Here we have our soup dumpling dough. And you make that here? Oh yeah. And what, tell me about the, that dough. It's really simple. It's flour and water. Ah. It's the ratio of mixing it. Um, it's the allowing it to rest for a certain amount of time and allowing the flour inside it to hydrate. That's the, that's the important part to give it the, the body it needs to where it's not gonna be too, too gummy or too uh, chewy. So, I'm gonna roll this out. So the tricky part we've learned is that it has to be just the right thickness because if it's too thin, it'll burst while it's steaming. Uh -huh. And if it's too thick, it's chewy and the guest doesn't enjoy it. So you've gotta get that right thickness. All right, I think we're just about there. I can just barely see through it, uh -huh. which means it's at a really good point. It's got a, it's got a perfect texture to it. What a ring cutter, just because it makes things a little more easy. easy. Oh yeah. Grab me on there. All right, so you gotta start. You kinda gotta pick it up and work the outsides out a little bit. Yeah because you're gonna fold all this together. So this has to be a little bit thinner than the base because when you, if you fold it just all at the same thickness, then you're gonna have a really dense fold and a really thin bottom. And these so, beautiful little fluting edges. Right, so that's the tricky part is, the, uh, is that fold. So there's our first one. Isn't that pretty? Michael, how'd you figure this out? Have you been to Southeast Asia? <laughs> That's always the big joke, is that I have not. I so, have not, and I just grew up with a lot of Southeast Asian friends because growing up in New Orleans, we have a huge community. So this thing that you have learned, this is entirely self-taught. Right, exactly. So I'm sure I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> but as long as people like to eat it, then I'm okay with it. Uh-huh. So these are, this is called speckled lettuce. So I don't have any of my collard greens right now, but I have these. Those are beautiful. So we're just gonna line the, the steamer with those. Then we're gonna put our, our little dumplings in there. That way they won't stick. They won't stick to the lettuce. And these will take about five minutes. Okay. So there we go. Did you wanna try making one of these? Oh, <laughs> I could try. Yeah, it can't hurt. All right, so let me find a nice piece for you. I'll make sure I floured it up. 
That one's for you, this one's for me. Okay. So we're gonna put a little bit of filling down. All right. Right there. Okay. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna start pressing around the outside to kinda stretch the outside edge a little thinner. Oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> well, this is like, you know, Play-Doh with benefits. Right? I like that, Play-Doh with benefits. <laughs> so once you press it out, so here's the, the part. And you can either hold it in your hand or you can put it down on the, on the table. You wanna come here and you wanna pinch, and then pinch, move on to the next pinch. So I'm kind of bringing it in and turning it. Pinch, turning it, pinch, pinch. And so I'm sort of building this pleat. Pinch, we're going all the way around. Oh, mine is like really not pretty. Neither, neither are mine, because the, the tricky thing, oh, well, the cool thing is, is once you get to the top, you just kind of do this twist. Ah. And I'm sure that someone else who've been doing this their whole life can make it way prettier than me. Doesn't but matter. But for me, I'm just trying to get it sealed we're just, up. We're just little yeah. New Orleanians trying to do the best we can, right? <laughs> right. Okay. So, there we go. Ah! <laughs> Maybe we that can was see how really they look. fun. Well, those are looking good. I was going to say we could throw them in there, but see if we Next. can make room. Why not? All right, let's try these guys. Oh, that's so pretty. So black vinegar with ginger. Pull one out. And then you're supposed to take a little bite. Break out the, break out the, break out the broth. <laughs> Careful, see, it worked. <laughs> it did work. And then you take this, so right, right in that little bite mark that you made. Mmm, mmm. It's not bad, right? Mmm. It's pretty good. <laughs> oh my God, that's delicious. Mmm, 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 mmm. Anybody who's never had that, better hurry there you on. Go. Mm. Okay, that is so fantastic. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> so exciting. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. To learn more about Louisiana Eats, visit our website at poppytooker.com.